Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Clash on Clashington. Today we will be going over the third Fixit vid which will cover many revisions made to cards that have been released to date. Don't worry though, most of them are simply textual changes and have not changed a majority of cards effects, and those that have been changed will be discussed in this video. Before we move onward to that though, we would like to restate two game mechanic changes as stated in the previous video, one being a slight change to the type of cards and the other being a new mechanic. This new mechanic, being buffy damage, functions where if a minion is dealt buffy damage equal to or greater than their buffiness in a single turn, they become unconscious. Buffy damage does not lower a minion's buffiness, and all buffy damage is removed from minions at the end of each turn. Secondly, there is the introduction to the basic type, which has essentially been applied to any events or circumstances that have previously not had any special subtype, like item, for example. If you have already printed cards, all you need to know is that the event and circumstances labeled simply as events or circumstances are basic. Now that things have been clarified, it is time to move on to the card changes. There are a total of 17 cards in this video, so to make things simpler we will be showing the old card and the newer, updated version of said card. Feel free to pause the video to take a closer look at card changes if you need to, but furthermore, here are the changes in alphabetical order. All updated cards have been added to the Dropbox, along with an updated instructions guide which includes buffy damage and a new CCL, or card clarification list. Furthermore, if you haven't noticed already, previous episodes of Clash have been labeled as R&D, meaning research and development. Any cards featured in an R&D video are subject to change, and as such viewers should look out for annotations and description changes to that video that show the changes of those cards. Lastly, there is some important news I must tell all of you Clash Commanders out there, and it's something that will more than likely be for the better. We at Homebrewery are going to spend some time away from Clash just for a little bit to playtest the cards more and finish the rest of the set. Don't worry though, because we will be back soon enough once the set is complete. Also, when we do return, the weekly updates will be changed to monthly updates, but on the bright side, these updates will include 10 new cards now, as compared to the current 4 or 5 per week. We may also add some gameplay footage in time, and don't forget to keep a lookout for seasonal and special cards too. I thank all you Clash Commanders out there for being both interested and invested in this game. I hope you guys enjoy the new changes, and you know for certain we'll be coming back with all the effort and determination we love to put into our work. So I would like to take this moment to say once again, thank you. Thank you guys for being awesome and sharing the experience of Clash so far. We have roughly 50 cards done, and with those cards you guys can play in Clash to your heart's content. So on that note, I wish all of you amazing Clash Commanders out there the best of luck, and keep on clashing.